Hi everyone, my name is Anna and I am Collections Manager and Registrar here at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery in Dayton, Ohio. And today I'm going to be showing you some amazing baskets from all around the world that we have here in our collections at the museum. So this first basket that I'm going to show you today is from Thailand in Asia. Now this basket is made from really tiny little woven pieces of reed and it's bound with a large bamboo strip. Now as you can see this basket has a bunch of tiny little holes in the bottom of it and that's because this is called a winnowing basket. It's used to winnow grains like rice or even wheat. So what you would do if you were going to winnow grain is put your rice in this basket and give it a shake for a long time and eventually what that is going to do is remove the inedible part of the rice from the edible little rice seed that we're used to eating today. Now the second basket that we have here is from the Philippines. And as you can see, it looks very different from uh, a normal basket that you might imagine today. But like all other baskets, it still has this woven pattern made from dried reeds and this kind of tightly coiled pattern up top. Now this was used to collect fruit. So the person that is using this basket would wear it on their side of their arm here, on their shoulder and they would put fruit in it as they go along and then they could easily bring the fruit back home. For our third basket, I have this spruce root basket which is made right here in North America and it's made by Pacific North Coast American Indians. And it's called a spruce root basket because it's made of tiny little spruce roots that have been dried and colored or dyed right here. Um, and most spruce root baskets have this little design pattern or even embroidery on them to give them a decoration. Um, and as you can see, this would have been used for serving or even preparing food. So they might have had their nightly meal right out of this basket here. So for our last basket today, I have this basket from Ethiopia, which is a country in Africa. And this basket is quite different from all the others because instead of being woven, it's actually made from coils. So to make this basket, they would make these tightly woven coils um, and sew them all together into a basket shape. Now this one has a nice little lid on it so you could store your grain or your food or whatever else you were storing and have it protected with a nice tightly fitting lid. So pretty cool basket. So now we are going to move on to our at-home activity, and I'm going to show you how to do your very own weaving at home, just like these baskets were woven. So we're gonna make our own woven piece of paper, and it looks pretty complicated, but it's actually really easy to do. So what you're going to need for this activity are three different colored pieces of a construction paper. What you're going to do first is cut two of the colors into these one inch strips lengthwise. And after you've done that, you're gonna take your third piece of paper and fold it hot dog style, so lengthwise. And as you can see, I've already cut it, but I'm gonna show you how to fold it. And once you have that folded, you're going to cut one inch lines on the creased edge where you just folded. So you're just gonna go through and cut, but not cut all the way through. So you're gonna leave a little section um, of the paper. After that, you're gonna unfold, and we have the beginning of our weaving project. So you're gonna flatten it out a bit, and take the first of your colored strips. And now you're going to do your actual weaving. So to do this, you're gonna start underneath the piece of paper, and bring your little strip through the first cut and then go underneath the next cut. And you're just gonna do this over and under, over and under the whole piece of paper. So it goes pretty quick once you get a hang of it. Just gonna keep going over and under and then you're gonna flatten out at the end. So next, you're gonna take your next piece of colored paper, your strip, and you're gonna do just the opposite of what you've just done. So this time you're going to take um, from this opposite side where you started and do the same thing, but you can see you're doing over and under opposite from these colors. All right, so now that you have that, you're just going to continue and you can see the start of our weave right here. Um, and you're just gonna keep weaving opposite edges for each color until you have your whole piece of paper filled out. Oh, 
Okay, so now we are done with our weaving activity and this is my finished product. And I would love to see how your weaving turned out if you wanna take a picture and post it in the comments below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning all about baskets today and I will see you next time. Bye.